Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to the battle video you've been waiting for between the Apple HomePod and the Sonos One. Yes, you're probably thinking, okay, look, I wanna pick up one of these for my Apple ecosystem. Should I go with the HomePod? Should I go with the Sonos One? Well, you know what? I'm gonna help you out with this video. Now, this is a pure audio battle vid. We're not gonna be comparing um, Siri or Alexa because we already know how they function on their own. But if you wanna see how the HomePod features with Siri, go ahead and check out Mr. Danny Wingard's video on that. He will give you a lot of details on that. It's in the cards there, so you can click on that. Uh, or if you wanna check out more on the, on the Sonos One itself and the voice assistant, we have that in the cards for you as well. Now let's check out with the HomePod. The HomePod is a cylindrical speaker uh, from Apple. Uh, it's got a single line plug-in. There are no ports to plug in anything there. It's of course got wireless connectivity via Wi-Fi. Uh, you've got seven tweeters built into this and a six array microphone. And on top, you've got a simple touch panel that lights up for either your Siri commands or your physical uh, voice controls, uh, volume controls. And of course, tapping the center to play and pause your music. So it's very simple, it's very basic and straight to the point. Now moving over to the Sonos One. The Sonos One uh, is more of a cuboid shape. Uh, you've got a couple of controls around it. You've got your uh, mic mute button. You've got your play and pause in the center. You've got your volume up or down on each side. They're not really labeled that way, but you can guess what it is. And uh, you've got an LED indicator in the center. And that's what you get in terms of of the physical design of the Sonos One. So let's talk about sound, let's kick it with the sound. So we, what we're gonna do in this video is a little different. We're gonna play different audio clips for you. So we're gonna get play a clip from the HomePod, and then we'll play, play a clip from the Sonos One, and then we'll chain all those together and I'll give you my thoughts on what I think. I can't face the truth, but I have to. So I speak to the beats, to reach the answers we seek. Now tell me that ain't deep. Well, they to fool you, they try to get to you To shape what's right While reality and justice escape the light I read the auto by your mouth and it changed my life Open my eyes to Sounding about So you've heard the sound from the HomePod and the Sonos One. What we have from the HomePod is some really loud sounds, but also drenched with a lot of EQs ramped up for the bass, which I don't like, and I think also has to do with the tuning of what you're getting here with this. So in terms of audio, if you're listening to anything with vocals, they're gonna be drowned out with that extra crank up in the bass there you get. I mean, it's probably because Apple owns Beats, and the guys at Beats probably tune the uh, speakers, so you're getting a lot of that. It's great for certain songs, but honestly, when you listen to a plethora of music, it doesn't work out well. It's a little tin uh, tinny in the sense, and also when you stretch the, uh, the volume up to the max, which is what I did pretty much for this video, you get that very washed out feel in your music. Now, to the Sonos One, the single speaker doesn't go as loud as the HomePod, but it's much clearer, especially with vocals. I wish I could play some regular music, like. I listen to a lot of Michael Jackson. You clearly hear the vocals here as opposed to what we did with the HomePod. And it does a much better job in, in adding bass where it should be. So it's not something where you have that increased amount of bass as opposed to something more balanced with the Sonos One. So the Sonos One does a much better job here. But here's the kicker too. The Sonos One is 349 for two. So setting up in the stereo setup, you're getting stereo sound much better, much cleaner, and also at the same price as the HomePod. So I'm just gonna shut up for a second and you guys can take a listen. All right, guys, there you have it. That's the stereo sound with the, with the Sonos One, as opposed to what you're getting with the HomePod. Again, it's cheaper, you're getting two for one. You can place it around your house. So you get clearly see which I think is the better audio setup to pick up, and that is the Sonos One, especially the fact that you can get two Sonos Ones for the price of one HomePod and you've got better sound and you have better ability to, to use with either your iOS devices, 
Android devices. Um, you've also got a plethora of music uh, services you can use with it as well. So there are more benefits you can add into that. Now the app setup, of course, is something we didn't talk about, but just quickly touching on that with the Sonos One, you have the ability to go in and select multiple music sources uh, in terms of uh, music uh, services on the web as opposed to being on the home part which is strictly just Apple Music uh, and Spotify. You can actually Spotify as well. But there you have it guys. If you have any questions or any comments, uh, let me know. If you don't think I am correct or you think I'm just saying hogwash, go ahead, let me know as well. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, definitely subscribe to your channel. Once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified about our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.